Hey guys, this is Toronto. Today I wanted to talk about a couple things. First of all, this offer here, if you are seeing this, this offer is definitely worth picking up. $1.50 Australian, so 99 cents over in the US for 20 orange mats is probably about the best price you are ever going to see these. Now I'm picking them up with the Amazon coins. So if you guys have Amazon coins, make sure you do use those. You'll save up to 20% off your uh, purchases here. Obviously I've already got some coins preloaded here so I can pick that up really quickly. But the other thing that I wanted to talk about mostly is tier five passives. Now, we did have a theory uh, a little bit ago that there was going to be some uh, upcoming um, ability upgrades, basically, that they're going to be adding in another tier of ability upgrades, um, which I'm I'm pretty excited about because it was kind of like a theory that now has kind of come true because I'm hearing a rumor that they're going to be adding in another tier of passives. So it's not going to be an upgrade to like every ability. Every ability is not going to have it off the bat. Uh, it's going to be more similar to when they originally rolled out um, the changes to their uh, uh, like when they added uh, the tier four materials in, they added them only into the passives and basics to start with, I believe. And then it was the specials and ultimates got them afterwards. So it's going to be similar to that. But from what I've heard, it's only going to be their passives to begin with, which is interesting. I think that the passives have a definitely like a, a passive can make or break a character. If a, pa a character has a really great passive, then it's going to be overall a, usually a pretty decent character. For example, Hella, a lot of her power comes from her passive when she's got the undead Asgardian that she summons in. While she does have an amazing kid otherwise, without Greg, I'm not sure that Hela would be as amazing of a character. Another one's like Colleen, where her passive is where she damages people on her turn, where she gets a whole lot of stuff. And as you can see, the passives are kind of getting longer and longer. So I think adding in another tier of passives isn't too bad of an idea. Some characters recently who got reworked and such could definitely use another kind of tier for their passive to kind of have them be a little bit stronger. For example, Punisher, when he got reworked uh, onto Skilletary, his passive essentially doesn't really do much for his team. He gains that extra damage against villains, which is fine, but it does stuff for city heroes. He has no city heroes on his team. He has no, like, this doesn't benefit anyone because he doesn't have dead, uh, dead evil on his team or anything like that. So an extra tier there would be amazing. Um, there's a lot of characters that could definitely use some upgrades for their passives. Like, if, I mean, imagine if Symbiote Spider-Man, when his passive get upgraded, he gains more drain or something, or maybe the drain starts affecting outside of, um, outside of the raids and stuff. But yeah, I've heard from a couple sources, not my main source, so do take it with a grain of salt, that likely there's going to be an another tier of these passives coming quite soon. Um, to me, that kind of indicates probably sometime within the next, uh, next quarter or, um, sometime uh, like in the second half of 2021. Uh, I know that they're kind of finishing up ISO 8 at the moment and obviously ISO uh, blue ISO 8 is going to happen. I'd say probably next patch and then I'd say two patches after that we will likely get these tier, um, tier 6 passives. Now I'm not sure if they're going to make them so that they're going to be um, like if they're going to be tier six and it's still requiring orange mats, it wouldn't surprise me if it does still require orange mats due to the fact that we only have one tier of orange mat stuff at the moment. And we do know they are doing that big rework to the economy coming up. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me if they do go through, uh, they do go through like making it so that the orange materials are more common, making it so that orange materials can be picked up easier. Maybe they kind of buff them in either like the, the raid seasons or the war seasons. Both of those could definitely use a buff in regards to orange bats and the block party. Block party being every month or something like that would be amazing. And it would definitely be something that would allow you to get a whole lot more orange mats for sure. So I'm not sure entirely what direction they're going to be taking here i'd love to hear from you guys what your kind of thoughts are do you think they're going to go the route of like chucking them um, into orange mats do you think it's going to be a new color material do you think that this is going to be something that comes like within the next couple patches i think that once they kind of add iso 8 blue in and they kind of wait a little bit there then they'll probably look at adding this in um but i'd love to see what they uh kind of go this like what route they go i'd love to hear from you guys as well what upgrades you think these characters 
characters could get. Like, I mean, imagine if Dr. Octopus's tier five, a uh, tier six upgrade for his passive is that he starts healing more. Like that would be just completely insane. Um, but that's it for today. I'd love to hear from you guys what you think about this. Make sure you do hit up my link for Amazon coins down in the description if you are going to be purchasing that massive, like that awesome bundle, because honestly, that's probably the best um, orange mat bundle you're going to be getting in the game. I'm not sure if there's any other offers that are in here worth checking out, but make sure you do check out the other offers as well. Not really, like there's nothing really insanely great in here. Um, I, it's, it's rare that Scopely does some really good bundles. So definitely jump on the ones that do show up, especially if they only cost a dollar. Like, I mean, that's like less than a cup of coffee over here and you can get further in the game. To me, it's kind of worth it for go your coffee for a little bit and get that. But that's it for today, guys. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Have a great day and goodbye.